Another roadblock has been met by Cricket West Indies with the implementation of recommendations from the Webby Governance Report following the latest annual general meeting. Based on TVJ Sports sources, three boards rejected recommendations tabled on the weekend in what they described as a deviation from the recommendations. Jerome Foster reports. Dr. Kishore Shalo oversaw his first annual general meeting as president of Cricket West Indies over the weekend in Antigua. It's the midway term of his tenure after assuming the position in March 2023. There was a positive with the board recording a net income of US $14.25 million after revenues of US $62.3 million. However, Dr. Shallow hit a stumbling block in implementing several recommendations from the Don Webby Chair to Governance Report in 2020. Based on TVJ Sports sources, several territorial boards objected to the implementation of some of the changes which Webby has taken issue with. That I'm very disappointed that it has not been accepted uh, because we believe that implementation of the Webby report, maybe on a phase basis, um, is going to enhance West Indies cricket and move us back to our rightful position as one of the world's best. We believe that. Wilford Billy Heaven, who was in attendance at the AGM, said while he's all for governance reform, loose agreements will not be his domain, especially with reports that Jamaica was one of the boards to block the implementation of some recommendations. Jamaica did not block um, the presidency extending the extension of um, the, term, the term limit. Jamaica is guided by the Webby's report. The Webby's report had two terms of three years. What came to the board was three terms of three years. That was not contained in the Webby's report. And we were dealing with the Webb report, and so we asked for the content that we follow the recommendations in the Webby report. Heaven is adamant that there are bigger problems which need to be resolved in order to improve the governance structure of the game regionally. The issue to do with the whole ordinance of the governance structure, um, the issue of a council, an oversight body, and all of that, we're not addressing those issues. I don't think the, 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 the entire region, for that matter, is sensitized to the issues facing the cricket and the issues that we need to address. Also, we need to sensitize the region about the impact on the correlation between a strong governance framework and our performance and development of the team. We need to establish that across the, the region. Among other things, the report recommended a downsizing of the board of directors from 18 to 12, a reduction of the board committees from 12 to 5 and a redefining of the roles of president and vice president. I believe one of the fundamental issues that we face with respect to the Webby report is the deviation from the report. And while several territories may be comfortable with different aspects of the Webby report, when the report comes to us under the heading of the Webby report, but the matter for consideration is different from what is contained in the Webby, in the Webby report, then we have, a, we have a problem with that. The Webby report is the fourth in the last 15 years for the regional game. Jerome Foster, TVJ Sports.